A running joke, a very unfunny running joke of what agency would show up next. And the day after the election in 2012, the Texas branch of the EPA, the TCEQ, showed up for an investigation. And so over three years, we've had 18 different points of contact or investigations by five different government agencies. What is happening in this country? I think what we are seeing is the, the weaponizing of the federal government against the individual citizen. Here, here. And three months ago, had I shared the story at this time, and I didn't, you know, I didn't tell the story. I didn't tell the story. I kept my head very low because, frankly, I thought that the best way to stay out of trouble would be to just comply. Mm -mm. The very best way I can now protect my family is to take this story to the American sure. people. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Three months ago, this would have all seemed very, very implausible. Uh, now, sadly, it seems to be a mile marker uh, on a very long road that we seem to be headed down as a country, and I think where it ends is a place that none of us want to go. And so I thank the Senator for, uh, for calling us together and for giving us an opportunity to talk this through, because left to its own devices, the federal government will not correct itself. Enough is enough, ladies and gentlemen, and, and stand with us now. We need it. Thanks. Thank you very much, Catherine. I'd now like to recognize Darcy Karkoff, the Katie, Katie Tea Party. Hi, I'm Darcy Karkoff. I'm with the Katie Tea Party Patriots. Um, yesterday, I asked my friends when I knew I was going to be here what I should say about the IRS and how it targeted the Katie Tea Party Patriots and other conservative groups around the country. Not surprisingly, many of my taxed enough already friends shouted, abolish the IRS, repeal and replace with the fair or flat tax, um, and to just shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> Needless to say, with a name like Katie Tea Party Patriots, we were doomed when we submitted our application to become a 501c4 organization in 2009. A few of our original board members had spent countless hours filling out the initial paperwork and then answering the follow-up questions that came in the summer of 2010. These questions were incredibly intimidating and intrusive. They asked us about specific things on our website, for copies of all literature we would provide at meetings and political forums, and details of all events and meetings that we held. After receiving no response from the IRS for over a year, after answering those questions, calling the IRS periodically to check on the status of our application, we chose to rescind our 501c4 application at the end of 2012 or 11 but the IRS bullying continued. KDT Party Patriots refiled our taxes and paid the money that we now owed for a for-profit organization. As we were doing this, we received yet another IRS letter in January 2012 informing us that we were reassigned to yet another new agent, and they had some additional intrusive questions for us. We ignored this. By the, this time, we had been in contact with at least four different IRS agents. After ignoring and delaying our 501c4 application for over two years, the IRS began penalizing us for filing back taxes that we now owed. We have received at least two separate fines for late payments as recently as this past May. And Lois Lerner and Douglas Shulman want us to believe that all of this happened because of two rogue agents in Cincinnati. No way. And that the targeting of conservative groups ended in 2012. Mm -hmm. no. I'm here to tell you they're lying. As one patriot stated, either the IRS is a rogue organization with no one minding the store, or the targeting was done with the Obama administration's knowledge and consent. Mm -hmm. Either way, the executive branch of our government looks pretty bad. This is a blatant abuse of the IRS's power, and it could happen to any of us. The IRS